If you've seen Scarface, then you know that iconic scene. Imagine living in the house made famous by Al Pacino in the 1983 film. All cleaned up, of course. <laughs> the mansion is now on the market, and here to give us an inside look is Candace Taylor. Thanks, Candace, for joining us. Thank you. The most surprising thing about this house, I think, for most people, is that it's actually not in Florida. It's in California. Exactly right. It was supposed to be in Coral Gables, Florida, when it right. was Tony Montana's mansion. But it's actually located in Montecito. It's a beautiful, beautiful home. I mean, look at it. It's got, let's go through some of the things it has. It has two levels of brick patios, and that's where the wedding scene was shot. Yes. So it's on the market for $35 million. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, and it's actually, um, it was built in the early 1900s, and it was modeled after a Roman villa, but with some Middle Eastern influ influences. So it has these amazing Persian-style gardens. Um, yes, and it has like an 18 foot dome, ceiling dome, yep, with 24 yep. karat gold leaf on the ceiling. Yes, very Quite opulent. Quite luxurious. <laughs> yes, um, it has a lot of fountains that wow. was import important in the Persian gardens. Um, and it's been updated a bit, right? Yes, it's been fully restored, painstakingly re restored. Uh, and right. it's about 10 acres of ground, so plenty of room. You can play out all your Tony Montana fantasies for exactly. a cool 35 million, yes. right, Candace? Yes. <laughs> now we have another gorgeous California property also on the market, a historic property. Can you tell yep. us about this, this one? Yep, this one's also, this was built in 1918. It's in Laguna Beach. And what's really rare about this property is it's right on the cliff, right above the beach. Beautiful. It's about 50 feet above, you know, so you can just take those little cliff. private stairs down to your little swath of the beach there, right? Exactly. And what's what's amazing about this is you could never build anything like this now because of code and all of that. It's like really right there on the cliff. Fabulous. Gorgeous. So. And and sea views from every window. Now, there's also a Frank Gehry California home on the market and there are very few Frank Gehry single family homes out there. Exactly, exactly. He is mostly known for museums like the Guggenheim and Bilbao and that kind of thing. Of course, his own home is famous, um, but this is one of the few homes he did in 1989. As you can see, it's really cool looking. It's actually four different structures that are sort of interconnected. Gorgeous. Um, and a veritable bargain, half the price of the other two homes we just talked about. Yeah, at 15, 15 million. million, right? <laughs> All right, Candace, thank you so much.